Hi, Cubbies. Last week, we learned that Cubby and his friends were part of a special help club. I wonder if they've been able to help anybody else on the farm this week. Let's call to Cubby and see if he can tell us. Ready? One, two, three. Cubby. Well, hi, Cubby Bear. We were just wondering if your health club has been able to help anybody else on the farm this week. Yes, we have, Miss Caitlin. Today, Timothy and I were walking around the farm looking for people to help. And Katie Collie was busy watching the playground and walking around was keeping an eye on the petting zoo. We all had our whistles ready to blow in case someone needed our help. Gotcha. Timothy and I asked if we could help a man who was painting the barn, but he was almost done. Just then, we heard a sharp whistle. Ooh, I wonder what that sounded like. Hey, Cubbies, would you like to hear what it, or what his whistle sounds like? Let's see. Wow, that's a sharp, loud whistle, Cubby. Yes, ma'am. There you go. So who blew the whistle you heard on the farm today, Cubby? It was me. <laughs> did you see someone who needed help, Lovey? I sure did, Miss Caitlin. Timothy's friend Mia looked sad. She was holding her tummy. What was wrong with Mia? Her tummy hurt and she failed sick. Timothy went to tell his mom, Miss Caitlin, and his mom came and took Mia to the first aid room on the farm. And the first aid room is the place where people try to help you feel better when you're hurt or sick. Then Timothy made Mia a special car. We all sat too. I'll go find it, Miss Karen. Okay. <laughs> hey, Cubby. Is this it right out here? Oh, yes, ma'am, that's <laughs> it, that's it right there. Oh, that was really kind of Timothy. I'm so glad you guys were able to help Mia. Me too, Miss Caitlin. Lovey, don't you think we should be going now? I wanna stop by the first day room and make sure Mia is feeling better. Okay, bye, Cubbies. Bye. Bye, Lovey. Bye, Cubby. <laughs> I hope Mia feels better soon. It's no fun to be sick. I know we've all been sick before. Hopefully we had someone to help us feel better. When Jesus lived on earth, he helped many people. That's how he showed his love. He did many special things to help God's people. He wanted them to understand that he was God's son. Today, we're going to read a story from our Bible about a man that Jesus helped. One day, when Jesus was teaching about his father, God, a man came up to him. His name was Jairus. He had a big problem and he needed Jesus' help. Jairus knelt down at Jesus' feet and he said, Jesus, will you please help my daughter? She is very sick and about to die. Please come to my house and touch her so that she may live. Jesus loved Jairus and his little girl. Jesus was happy to help them. Jesus and his friends, the disciples, left with Jairus to go back to his home. And a large crowd of people followed them. Now Jairus was not the only one who needed Jesus' help that day. In the crowd of people, there was also a sick woman. The woman felt very sad. She had been sick for 12 years and no doctors could help her to feel better. But she had heard many wonderful things about Jesus. She believed that all she had to do was touch his clothes and Jesus could make her well. The woman moved closer to Jesus, but she didn't want anyone to see her. She wasn't supposed to be near people because of how sick she was. So she bent way down and she walked really slowly. 
she snuck up behind Jesus when he walked by and she touched a part of his clothes, see right here? And as soon as she touched Jesus, her body felt better. She was healed. And Jesus turned around and he said, who touched me? He asked. Many people were pressing up close to him, but Jesus knew that he had healed someone. The woman knew that she couldn't hide anymore. Shaking with fear, she fell down before Jesus. And she told him and everyone else what she had done and how her body had been healed. And Jesus loved her and he was happy that the woman had believed that he could heal her. And he told her, daughter, your faith has healed you. The lady was happy, but there were others in the crowd who were sad. Do you remember Jairus? He had wanted Jesus to hurry to heal his sick daughter. Several men from Jairus' home had caught up to them and had told him, Jairus, your little girl has died. There's no need to bother Jesus anymore. Jairus was so sad. And Jesus said to him, do not be afraid, just believe in me. When Jesus got to Jairus' house, many people were very sad and they were crying loudly and other people were playing sad songs on their pipes. Jesus told them all to leave, then only Jesus and the little girl's father Jairus and her mom were in the house. And Jesus' disciples, Peter, James, and John, were there as well. On the bed was the 12-year-old little girl who had died. Jesus knelt beside the little girl and took her hand. And he said, little girl, arise. And Cubbies, do you know what happened? The little girl opened her eyes. She was alive again. Jesus helped her out of bed and she started walking around. Jairus and the girl's mother were so happy and surprised. Only Jesus could make a dead person alive again because Jesus is God. Cubbies, it's sad to think about dying, but we do not have to be afraid or sad. In our Bible, in our memory verse in 1 John 5.11, it tells us, God gave us eternal life and this life is in his Son. Let's say that one more time. 1 John 5, 11. God gave us eternal life, and this life is in his Son. This verse means that if we trust Jesus as our Savior, we have eternal life. Eternal life is life with our Lord Jesus, both now and forever. If our bodies die, we will go right to heaven and we will live forever with Jesus. And one day when Jesus comes back, he will give us new bodies that will never ever get sick or die. Remember Cubbies, Jesus gave us eternal life because he loves us. I'm so glad that Jesus is our powerful God.